Right guys, so in this video, I'm going to make up a free hook ports of flute rig. Stuff you're going to need is your main swivel to connect your main line to the rig body. Two swivels, two smaller swivels should I say, which will be coming off of your line for your hook length. Two cascade swivels. Uh, some silicon tubing for like a stop knot. Sorry about the noise, birds are playing up. I had to put the cockatiels to sleep, but I didn't get the memo. Then we got some beads, hooks of your choice, an imp so I can clip it down at the bottom. You could use it on the, you know, on the top of the weight here like that, clip it onto this bit. But I like to have a swivel on top here, just so it can spin freely and then obviously the uh, hook length whatever you want to use 20 pound amnesia and red I like red because it seems to be the uh, first color that you lose sight of underwater so it's my go-to uh, I've got about a meter a good meter of rig body 60 pound line so let's get started So I'm going to tie the top end first. You've got your swivel. Four. Five times round. Through the hole at the beginning. You've got a little loop there. And I take the tag end and go back through that loop. It's known as a tax blood knot. It'll look like that. Always moisten your knots. And pull it tight. You can always hook it through there if you've not got pliers or anything with you. Just to pull it down. There we go. Nice. Not there. I'll trim the tag end off. Right, so that's the top. So now, what we need, you want a little bead. Then one of the smaller swivels. Another bead. You want the uh, SRT spring. And I can pick it up. That goes on next. Followed by another bead. And then you want to use two pieces of this silicon tubing. So you want to go in, bring it up the line, I like to leave a gap at the top, you know, just for adjustments later on. So you've got your silicon tube in there and you, what you want to do is you want to Take the bottom end and go back through the hole. Pull it tight. Like that, so you've got a loop. Pull that nice and tight. See, I'll use two of those. Because then it stops the, uh, the tube in slipping. You know, if you've got a fish on the top one and you've only got one bit of this. <laughs> You know, the fish can, when it's moving around, it can make it slip. And you don't want it, you know, down the end of the line all the time. And then having to adjust it every two seconds. So doubling it up just makes it more secure. There we go. There's a the first little bit. Got 
put that. <clears throat> Next bit, you're going to want to use another piece of silicon tubing about halfway down. So don't bother doubling up at the top because the, the weight's not going to be pulling upwards, it's always going to be pulling down, so just one on the top. You want a bead. Yeah, peekaboo. You're fighting over there. Right, bead. Then you want a cascade swivel. And you want that little L shape there. You want that to be facing the top of your line. So you go through the funny little end, like so. L shape at the top. And that will become clear, clear later on. Then another bead. followed by two more pieces of silicon tubing. There we go. Move that both up. And there's the second bit done. It's gonna sit like that. You can spin around, nice and free. Now we come to the bottom end. So just repeat that again. <coughs> so we want a piece of silicon tubing. Leave about that much for the bottom. And go back through. Another bead. Then you want just a plain swivel this time on the bottom. Another bead. Followed by two more bits of silicon tubing. You know, you can tie it straight to the imp if you want to, but like I said before, I like to have a swivel on top just so your lead can swing and spin around rather than twist your line up. Same knot we're going to use. Tuck blood knot one, two, three, four, five times round through the little hole at the beginning. And then back through the hole you just made. Pull it tightish. Moisten it. And then pull it down. Turn the tag end off. So there, we've got one bit there. Comes along to this piece. And then we've got our bit at the top. Now it's time for the hook links. So I like to start off with the top one. I'm going to tie it on. I'm using the same knot, you know, on every thing I do, so I won't run through it again with you. I 
bag end. Right. <clears throat> now, what you want to do is you want to pull the, the hook length down until you reach the cascade swivel. And then level with it is where I will cut, like so. <coughs> I'm going to tie a hook on. I'm using the uh, Cox and Roll Scratch and Match Hook, size 4. I've got a quite a unique shape. You know, it's, it's a slow looping bend and then it comes in quite sharp at the top. And I've found these to be brilliant hookups. They're always in the scissors or in the bottom lip. Just for a very sharp, good quality hook that is. Probably my favourite at the moment. <clears throat> so, just want to tie the hook on. That's the first one. Now I should be able to pull it down and it should be roughly where we want it. Which, as you can see, it is. So, next step. What I like to do now is move on to the bottom hook. is see roughly where you want it to uh, how long you want the trace to be on the bottom so that's the weight there it's going to be on the bottom you know about just a bit bigger than the tackle box lid there so about 50 centimeters and then you want the upper cascade swivel you got to make sure you tie these around the right way so on the bottom hook length you want to tie it onto the, the funny shape end, not the circle end. So when it's all taut, it's going to be facing up this way. So your hook's going to be in there. If it was out that way, your hook wouldn't have anywhere to go. Your hook length where the well, that's, that's the length from where the uh, cascade swivel is. Then we've got the hook length. So, what I like to do to measure out this next bit 
is your hook is going to be attached to the splashdown. So say your hook was here, hold that there, and then you want to pull up, see where it comes to on your rig body. Now I always like to have the cascade swivel above, just above this swivel here. So I'll show you again. Clip these up quick. Right. Grab the cascade swivel, hold it just above that, and then pull the line that's attached to the hook length down until you get to your splashdown. That's where I'm going to cut it. You don't want this to be very long, this isn't the loop. So tie your hook on. Hook that on the impact shield like that. Hold that tight and come up. There you go, that's perfect. That then creates the loop. So the middle hook length is going to clip onto this cascade swivel here, which I'm going to tie now. Now it's time to measure up how long your middle hook length is going to be. So again, what you want to do, is clip that into the impact shield, and you want to pinch that there. And then it can be a bit tricky. I'm going to run that up. And cut that out there. So, all you're doing is bringing the, the hook length of the, the middle one down to the cascade swivel. So now when I tie a hook onto this one, it should all clip down nicely. But if it doesn't, we've got room to play with. So. If I take you to the door, which I've put a little nail in there, which I can hook my rigs up to. Right. Now it's time to test if it works. So your top hook is going to go into the cascade swivel there. <clears throat> and then middle hook into the cascade swivel on the bottom. Like that. 
and then your bottom hook should sit in there. Right, now we've got a bit that's loose here. So all we do is adjust it. Now we just adjust the top one. So we've got to come down. And there we go. So we're all adjusted, all lined up. Just got to pull the stop knots down. That one at the top there, and then that bottom one is fine. Right, guys, there we have it. It's all clipped up, as you can see. Spring's got a little bit of tension on it. That's going to take your the shock from when you cast. It'll pull down, what have you? Clipped up there. One's down. There's your loop. And that's clipped in there. So when that hits the water, that's going to ping back. And there you go. You've got it. It's all released. I'll show you again how to clip it up. I like to start with the top first. Seems to be easier. Take your top hook, put it in the cascade switcher. By keeping it tight all the time, you're going to put your middle hook into the bottom cascade. Keep it tight, and the bottom hook goes into the impact shield on the bottom. And there we go, free hook, Portsmouth loop rig. Brilliant rig. <laughs>